Mystery in the Air, starring Mr. Peter Lorre. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you will inspect the 47 wax images you see before you, I think you will admit that they are more lifelike, more startlingly real than any you have ever seen before. But the greatest interest lies in the fact that each one of these figures is a fiendish, sadistic murderer. Uh, but come, I begin at the end of the line and describe their horrible crime. Yes, yes, there he goes, there he goes again, telling people all the bad things with it. Oh, it's terrible, being nothing but figures in a wax museum. People staring at us all day long and not one of them, not one ever suspects that we are still alive. Each week at this time, Camel Cigarettes bring you Peter Lorre in the excitement of the great stories of the strange and unusual, of dark and compelling masterpieces culled from the four corners of world literature. Tonight, The Mask of Medusa by Nelson Bond. Mystery in the Air, starring Peter Lorre, brought to you by Camel Cigarettes. Experience is the best teacher. Try a camel. Let your own experience tell you why more people are smoking camels than ever before. When you smoke a cigarette, it's your T-zone that passes judgment on it. Yes, your T-zone, that's T for taste and T for throat, is your proving ground for any cigarette. If your taste longs for a really full, rich flavor in a cigarette, if your throat would welcome true coolness and mildness in a cigarette, don't miss trying a camel. You may well find, like so many millions of smokers, that camels suit your T-zone to a T. How do you like this little fellow, huh? Oh, he's nice, Carl. I don't believe he ever did anything wrong. <laughs> ah, you women, always the same. You heard the lecture say that every one of these figures is the likeness of a real murder. Mm. <laughs> Maybe this little angel poisoned his wife, eh? <laughs> I don't believe it. He is too innocent looking. Well, they always are. <laughs> Except his eyes. They go right through me. Come on, oh, those here before. idiots, idiots and morons. Can't they see I'm still... No, I suppose not. Uh, but I'd like to be alive again. Oh, alive again. I'm alive right now, but I'd be better off dead. I can hear, I can see, I can feel, I can think. But I cannot move. I, I cannot move at all. No matter how and now, I ladies try. and gentlemen, if you will regard these recent specimens, and if I may say so myself, they're masterpieces. <laughs> What's the matter, madam? That strange-looking little one. I was watching him, and he moved his eyes. Oh, thank you, madam. That's a true compliment to my artistry. But I assure you, the gentleman did not move his eyes. Dirty that would eyes. be utterly impossible. He is made of wax and other substances known only to myself. Rubbish. I'm English, my man. And you can't bamboozle me. I'm sorry if the realism of my exhibits has played tricks with your imagination. Imagination fiddlesticks. Oh, I tell you If you doubt that my exhibit is exactly mad. as represented, madam, may I return your price of admission? Oh. Here you are. Oh, well, thank you so much. Now, perhaps if I might suggest a little fresh air. Well, I, I, I do feel a bit faint. <laughs> All these ghastly crimes, you know. Of course. I believe I'll go and have a cup of tea. <laughs> to resume, ladies and gentlemen, if you will step over this way, this way, please, you will see exhibit number three. 
the infamous hatchet woman of... This way, this way, Exhibit 3, just listen to him. Day in, day out, we stand here while he talks and talks and talks about us. Oh, he's so boring. All he talks about are those silly incidental murders we committed. Why doesn't he talk how we did them, huh? For he and this room are some of the greatest artists in their lines the world has ever known. For example, just look at the ones on each side of me. Here to my left. That's Paul, yes, oh. He was the most skillful man with a scalpel in Prague. He was wonderful. Even today, they haven't found all the pieces of the bodies he carved up now. And, and on my right is the beautiful, beautiful Magda. She always killed with a luger. She used but one bullet to her husband, and she did away with five of them. Yes, indeed, it's, it's an honor to stand between such exquisite artists. And as for me... I can hardly believe it was only three days ago that I, that I came in here of my own free will. My own free will, I... Good evening, sir. Uh, uh, good evening. You wish to see my wax figures? Uh, wa wax figures? Yes. Well, all around you. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. Yes, of course. And you mean to see? You mean you mean all these people are wax? But certainly. You know. You know. For a moment, I I thought they were alive. A very natural mistake. It is, huh? Wait. wait. Did you... By the way, is anything the matter? You I'm, seem nervous. I'm not What's nervous. the matter with you? D didn't you hear? Me? I don't. That's ugly sound. What is it? Yes, it's gone. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry I'm late. Uh, I'm sure you want to close up. I'll, I'll go now. Perhaps some other oh, time I'll be back. Oh, it is never too late to show my masterpieces. Huh? Uh, but first, I'll lock the door and draw the shades. Wait. There. Now then, you don't have to be afraid of being seen. Afraid? Why should I be afraid, huh? I don't know. Why should anyone be afraid? I don't know. Well, I'm in no hurry. Well, I suppose since I'm here, I, I might as well... Look over my collection? Yes, why not? Good. Uh, permit me to introduce myself. I am Aristide Zweig, owner of this exhibit, artist and connoisseur of crime. <laughs> artist and connoisseur of crime? <laughs> That's an odd combination. Not it? at all, as you shall see. Uh, mm -hmm. Suppose we begin here. Uh, do you, by any chance, recognize this one? This one? No. But he's very ugly. Roger Saunders, Englishman, no. a poisoner, not very imaginative. Uh, next to him here is Nicholas Rodriguez. Hey, well, he killed with the knife. Wait a minute. And over here... What's the matter? Tell me, these people, they, they all have a strange look. Strange? Yes, oh. it's, it's as if... It, as if they had just seen something horrible and... And then their faces <laughs> froze. And... Uh, perhaps they did see something. Something that made them realize the horror of their crimes. The crimes? Are, are, are these all criminals? Every one. All 46 of them. Murderers. Hmm. You must be very interested in murder to get up a collection like this. Oh, but I am. It is my mission. Oh, your mission. What are you talking about? Murder. Murder, that most horrible of crimes. Yes. I hate it. I loathe and despise its perpetrators. It is my mission to show the world these fiends in human form, to display them in all their brutal bestiality, yes. that men may view them, tremble, and take heed. I see, I see. And yes. Where do you get your specimen? From the morgue? Not from the morgue. No. I get them here, there, wherever I can find them. Oh, no, Usually no. I have to go out and look for them. As a matter of fact, there is one now I would like to have very much oh, yeah. for my 47 specimen. Oh. Yes, he murdered a defenseless old woman quite near here, not half an hour ago it was. I heard it over my radio. Yeah. He brutally murdered her and took her life savings. Yes, yeah. Did they catch him? Mm, not yet. But they will. Yes. They're watching all the roads. And besides that, the old woman's money was in old bills. Well, why? So old, it is now out of circulation. Mm -hmm. When he tries to pass it, they will know. And if they don't catch him, 
I will. You will. You, huh? Yes, yes. Murder must be avenged and exposed by one means or another. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, but forgive me for going on like this. Oh, Sometimes I get carried away. Let's get back to this next figure. A most interesting case. This man, Hans Schneider, what? who murdered by air embolism. You say Schneider? Yes. Hans Schneider? Yes. Look, I knew him. He disappeared. He was never captured. He wasn't even suspected. None what of them talking? were. How, how did you get them here? I told you, sir, I am an artist. I have my own methods of reproducing their likenesses. Wait, wait a minute. Tell me, is, is that a model of Schneider, or, or is that Schneider himself? Uh, how in the world did you happen to guess? You're uh -huh. quite correct. It is Schneider. But this is monstrous. Not at all. You just do not understand. Yes, I do. I understand you. You dirty hypocrite. You you say you hate murder, and yet you've killed everyone in this room, you... No, I didn't kill them. How did you do it, huh? Poison, knife, or, or did you dip them into boiling wax alive? None of those things. They're not dead. They're not dead. What did you say? They're not dead. They're simply in a state of permanent suspended animation. Suspended animation? Are you mad? Are you insane? It's true. I just let them look, and that's what happened. You let them look at what? Did you ever hear of the Gorgon's head? What? The head of Medusa. Medusa, yes, of course. I, I went to school, and I studied Greek mythology. Of course, Medusa was a... She was a very beautiful woman, yes. and, and she offended Athena with... And Athena changed her hair into snakes and made her face uh, very hideous and so horrible that all who looked on her were turned to stone. And, and later, I, I think uh, Perseus cut off her head. You're right. And yeah. the severed head could still turn men to stone. Yes, yes, I know. But <laughs> that was a long time ago. Would you care to look upon it? What are you talking about? Oh, it's here. The mask of Medusa was found long ago in a wild lost grotto in Greece. Where and how does not matter, but it has been the means of fulfilling my sacred mission, the destruction, the cleansing of the world of those who slay their fellow men. Now I know you're mad. <laughs> Perhaps I am the only sane one in a world gone mad. Oh, sure, sure. Tell me, sir, this, uh, this mask, what, what does it look like? Oh, I have never seen it myself. The native who gave it to me warned me. I do not dare look. Oh, no, no, I don't <laughs> blame you. I, I don't blame you at all. See, listen, suppose, Mr. Twag, we talk a little business, you and me, huh? What do you want? I want your help to get me out of town. How can I help you? Well, that's very simple. Nobody suspects you that, uh, that is, uh, nobody but me. You put me in a crate like one of these 46 models you are so proud of and send it off in a truck. Simple, huh? But why? Why should I do this? Why? Because you fear the police as much as I do. You fear the police? You are a murderer? I didn't say you that. You are a murderer. No more than you are. But I didn't kill them. I told you I didn't kill them. Yes, yes, you told me. It's a fine story, but who is going to believe it? Police? Yes, no, sir, no. If the police come here, and I'll make sure that they come here. It would take money. Money, my... Here is money, all the money you need uh, when I talk. Ah, uh, I thought so. Why? That money, those old bills. So it was you. You were the one who murdered the old woman and took her savings. I thought oh, so all along. Yes, I thought stupid so. stupid woman, if she hadn't resisted wait, me, she... Wait, I have something in this cabinet I want to show you. Look, look, look no tricks. You hear me or the police comes in here. Hey, what's I didn't that want sack? to do this. I what never want to sack? do it, but it must be done. You don't want to do what? Look, murderer, you, upon the crimson what mask are you of Medusa. About, you yes, look, out. look upon the don't mask of Medusa. My, my legs. Look. Look. My hands. I... Look. Uh, no. I have number 47. In a few moments, Mr. Peter Lorre will bring us the climax of tonight's mystery in the air when camels present Act Two of The Mask of Medusa. It's been proved time and time again, in work, in sports, in everything we do. Experience 
is the best teacher. Ace Midget Auto Racer, Walter Ader, proved it conclusively when two other cars crashed and almost blocked the track during a recent championship race. Roaring up at 100 miles an hour, Walter Ader squeaked through an opening only inches wider than his car. Mr. Ader said, Experience is the best teacher. In choosing cigarettes as well as in auto racing, I've smoked most all the brands. Camels suit me best. Yes, experience is the best teacher. Smokers learned how true that is during the wartime cigarette shortage. Smoking so many different brands when there was no choice made folks experts on judging the differences in cigarette quality. Well, that proved to thousands and thousands of smokers that there's nothing like Camel's rich, full flavor. Nothing like Camel's cool mildness. Result? More people are smoking Camel's than ever before. Experience is the best teacher. Try a camel yourself. Now a new crowd is viewing the attractions of Aristide Swag's Wax Museum. The lifelike, living but not breathing images of the 47 murderers. Oh, come, Hilda. Let's go outside. I don't like this place. Wait, here's one we didn't see. I don't know how you can stand there looking at them. The murderers. And their faces. <laughs> this little one isn't so bad. If he was alive, I could go for him. No, no, he's horrible. <laughs> come on, I can't. Stand oh, I could crush her skull. Stupid idiots know it. It is not pleasant to be stared at day after day by people who know nothing of life or death, at least not, not as we know it. The living dead, yes, that's what we are, and he, he is responsible. Oh, if we could only somehow, somehow get back to normal, even for a little bit, oh, what we could do, all of us, what we could do. It's midnight. It's very still, but, but something, something odd is happening. Just a little while ago, my, my mind was blank. I, I wasn't thinking about anything, but, but suddenly a thought came into my head. Yes, and suddenly, out of nowhere. Yes, we there, can project There it is again. If we try. Who? Who is what? Magda. Standing next to you. Yes? Think, think hard. Yeah. If we all think together, perhaps we can make somebody help us. Yes. Yes, of course. Oh, oh that's wonderful, Magda. Think hard. She's wonderful, of course. Forty-seven minds trained in crime, all concentrating at once on somebody who comes in here to look. <laughs> If we try, if we try hard enough, we could make him do anything. Maybe we could get him to... Oh, well, that's too much to expect, but, but still... Yes, another day has started, but today I have a feeling of excitement. All night long, all night long, we concentrated, and, and our thoughts were getting stronger and stronger. I'm convinced Magda has gotten through to everyone. I have a feeling that something is going to happen, and, and just a little while ago there came a thought... Like is upstairs in his room. Yeah? We must watch the door. the door. When the right one comes, mm -hmm. we shall know it at once. Be ready. I'm ready. Whatever is going to happen, I'm ready. There, there, the door is open. Maybe this is it. Oh, then I'm frightened. I do not wish to look. It won't hurt you, Ilsa. 
teach you maybe to get over your stupid fears. Now, you look at these figures, every one of them, do you understand? Yes, Father. Now, where is that lecturer? He should be here. I will find him so that he can tell you all about these criminals. <laughs> Think. Think hard. <gasps> There's no doubt of it. It's this little, little Ilse. Oh, she's the one, yes. She's the one we've been waiting for. She's the kind of mind we need, yes. Oh, how exciting. How exciting. Thoughts are coming in very strong. Keep, keep thinking, Magda. We can't be free unless something happens to that horrible mask of Medusa over there in the cabinet. If something could happen to that, the spell might be broken. Matter, what are you thinking? Matches and fire. Matches and fire. Matches I've got it. Of course I've got it, yes. Matches and fire. Matches and fire. Father. Matches and fire. Father, where are you? Matches and fire. Fire. I, I, I beg your pardon. Uh, have you seen my daughter? She was here a minute ago. A, a thin girl, about 16. I have not Man. seen her. I saw her just now over there by that cabinet, I think it was. She had a box of matches. Fire! 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 <laughs> it's worth it. All our trained evil minds concentrating on that one small mind. Oh, we simply overwhelmed it. Poor little Ilse, she'll never know why she started that fire. Oh, but, but it's a big, wonderful fire, and, and the cabinet is burning. It's, it's burning. And, uh, what is that? Uh, what? Uh, something is happening. I, I've just been able to move the little thing in my, in my left hand. Yes, yes, we, we can move. <laughs> We are free. We can move. All of us. We are moving. We, the walking dead. Everyone, everyone is moving swiftly through the flames. Oh, they can't hurt us. Towards the stairs, yes. Oh, we are a horrible company. Oh, how exciting! White faces, clear. The flames, forty, forty-seven. We are murderous, all of us, surging forward to get the man, the man we hate. Oh, yes, he's a murderer, but he's worse than we are. His victims stay alive. He condemned all 47 of us to a horrible, endless, living death. There, there, he's behind that door. It's locked. Come on, break it down. Break it down, you hear? Come on. Yes, yes. The yes, we got him. What have you done to him? <laughs> what have we done? We have taken care of your Medusa. Yes, we have, Aristide. Now, now we'll take care of him. No, you. please, don't. Yes, I will help we you. You will. don't know the mask, you fool. No. I'll help you. You haven't yes. got much time. It's help coming. you. I'll help you. The mask is coming. Yes, it's Medusa. It's coming up the stairs. Captain. Kill Swahik, at least we can kill Swahik. Stop, wait, wait. I have a plan. Get away from that door. Let me get there. It is here. Close Close your eyes. Look. Don't look at it. Too late. They looked, and now they're all gone. All but you and I. Yes. Everybody's gone back as they were before. Yes, they're gone. All gone but you and I. You and I. What are you going to do? I'll show you what I'm going to do. Here. Look, Aristide. What? Look here. You hear me? Oh. Yes, yes, oh. Uh, 
more. Oh, oh, no, yes, no, I yes, can't. you saw it. No! Looking, <laughs> you're looking at the crimson mask of Medusa. You, oh, look, look, your feet. Oh, well, I know it. Look at your legs, your hands. Oh, you can. You're not even able to talk anymore. Yes, you. Now you have looked upon the mask of Medusa, you idiot, you. Uh, uh, I forgot. Uh, I looked at it too. <sighs> Well, 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 here we are, back again, yes, all of us, the finest criminal minds in the world. Oh, it's the elite, the cream of crime. Now we are just wax figures in a sideshow. Yes, but now, now there are 48 of us. <laughs> oh, I suppose uh, we should feel honored to have with us the great Aristide Zweig. This way he looks quite natural, yes. Standing over there between Schneider and Paul. And at least he doesn't bore me anymore with his silly, stupid lectures. No. Now he doesn't talk at all. Someone called Albert is running the exhibit now. Oh, poor Albert. He's an imbecile. Albert doesn't know there was a mask of Medusa. Oh, we are much more intelligent than poor Albert. He, he doesn't even know that we are, that we are still alive. <laughs> Each week, the makers of Camel cigarettes send free camels to servicemen's hospitals from coast to coast. This week, the camels go to Veterans Hospital, Sun Mount, New York, USAAF Station Hospital, Kessler Field, Biloxi, Mississippi, U.S. Naval Hospital, Corona, California, U.S. Marine Hospital, Mobile, Alabama, and Veterans Hospital, Knoxville, Iowa. Three leading independent research organizations made a survey of doctors' cigarette preferences. 113,597 doctors were asked, What cigarette do you smoke, doctor? The brand named most was Camel. According to a nationwide survey, more doctors smoke Camels than any other cigarette. Next week, Mystery in the Air, starring Mr. Peter Lorre, brings you an exciting story of gambling and sudden death. The Immortal Queen of Spades by Alexander Pushkin. Try Prince Albert in your pipe and you'll know why more pipes smoke Prince Albert than any other tobacco. Men like PA because it's specially made for smoking pleasure. Extra rich and full flavored. Crimp cut to burn slow, smoke cool. And specially treated to ensure against tongue bite. Just try a pipe full of Prince Albert. See if you don't get more enjoyment from the National Joy Smoke. And folks, be sure to listen to Prince Albert's Grand Ole Opry Saturday night for a half hour of folk songs, fun and laughter with your favorite folk stars, Red Foley, Minnie Pearl, Rod Brassfield, and the rest of the Opry gang. And his Red special guest, Jimmy Wakeley. Remember, Prince Albert's Grand Ole Opry, Saturday night over NBC. Yes, your dream can come true. Your own home, a college education for your son. Travel. Save for them and they'll be yours. Buy U.S. savings bonds, buy them regularly. U.S. savings bonds are always safe, always profitable. Sign up for the payroll savings plan where you work or the bond a month plan where you bank. Listen again next week at the same time when the makers of Camel Cigarettes present Mr. Peter Laurie and Mystery in the Air. <laughs>